I asked Professor Kotos what teachers need to know about writing. She talked about three fundamental characteristics of writing. Register variation, process orientation, and interpersonal function. What's the most important thing for teachers to understand about teaching writing? First of all, it is important for teachers to understand that writing skills include multiple types of abilities, including the ability to effectively use the writing strategies and conventions of different registers. What I mean by registers is the many styles or varieties of language that are determined by social context, purpose, and audience. In fact, this is what teachers of ESL writing generally find difficult to teach. It is also very important for teachers to understand the relationship between linguistic forms and communicative functions. We do things with language in different contexts all the time. We ask questions, we give directions, we argue, we persuade, and different registers employ different language choices and levels of formality. Teachers should draw their students' attention to how specific language choices can help writers better convey specific shades of meaning. Teachers need to also understand the stages of writing as a process and not perceive writing as just the product. Writing is generating and shaping ideas that get polished through multiple drafting and iterative revisions before they make it into the final product. One other idea I'd like to mention is that writing happens in the midst of social relationships, which is why writers often carefully choose appropriate linguistic forms. They do that not only to express ideas, but also to present their identity and to create relationships in certain contexts. Because people write for a wide range of purposes, teachers need to shape writing instruction in ways that provide students with opportunities to write for varied purposes, trying to create authentic meaning for particular audiences. That means that teachers should expose students to authentic texts representative of different registers and help the students focus on analyzing the audience, analyzing the context and the purposes of those texts, even before assigning their students certain writing tasks. Professor Kotos described three critical aspects of writing, register variation, process orientation, and interpersonal function. These aspects of writing are all connected. There is a really interesting article in the English Teaching Forum that shows the connection between register and interpersonal function. An EFL teacher, Richard Schleit, described how he discovered that he needed to teach his students about register variation according to social context, purpose, and audience. He described an email that he received from one of his EFL students when he was teaching writing at an international business school. The email said, I am Judy. Why my grade so low? I study hard. Please help me, professor. Richard thought, wow, this student does not understand the register. That email was very informal not an email for a professor. That was probably his second thought. I bet the first reaction to the email was that this student is not polite and respectful because the language of the email presents the identity of the writer. Inappropriate language can express an identity of a rude person. But Richard was not insulted. He was inspired. He decided to respond to the inappropriate email with a lesson about register. He changed the student's name on the inappropriate email and he brought it to class. He asked the students how they would edit the email to express an appropriate level of formality. He was surprised at the range of responses the students produced. One addressed the teacher as, Your Excellency. A few included flattering but irrelevant remarks such as, All of the other professors here should learn from you. A few students used 
imperatives like, let me take the quiz again. And some use declaratives like, I want to take the quiz again. When he saw the responses from the students, he decided to devote more time in class to teaching the interpersonal language of email to help his students present themselves as polite and kind writers. In the next video, we will hear Professor Koto's advice about teaching writing.